Well, good morning. <clears throat> Running some diagnostics in the background. Hoping to find a reason why my computer keeps turning on and then the screen turns black. So this is my umpteenth attempt at a video today. So fingers crossed. Looking at yesterday, Nottingham Forest and Palace was never going to be over two and a half goals, despite what the uh, research said. Please don't take the research as 100% accurate. Crystal Palace has been failing to score that second goal. You couldn't tr even trust them uh, to score that first goal. Nottingham Forest, if you look at their recent matches, there's an obvious defensive pattern. Still over-reliant on Chris Wood to get you that single goal, which he's been doing well. But this is where your 1-0-itis has its Achilles heel. If the opponent scores a goal, you're in a spot of bother. So a real pattern, you can see there. Three 1-0s and a 1-1 in the last five matches. I wonder if that continues backwards. Another 1-1 there. It's a strong under two and a half goal current, isn't it? So you wouldn't, be, uh, you wouldn't be backing overs there. You don't know whether Palace will turn up with a goal to help you along your line as well. Verona and Monza, absolutely no interest in that one for me yesterday at all. 2.35 for favourite. Valencia and Las Palmas was full of incident. Valencia ended up losing, but they did score the first goal via a penalty. It was 1-1 at half time. That's not really an angle for me to, to take on in a match. Uh, featuring these two kind of sides. You saw on Sunday, you start making really confident money, I call it, when you've got the likes of uh, Manchester City to provide you with the goal or Real Madrid to provide you with a late winner rather than Valencia, who, let's face it, had an awful season last season. Red card as well, 69th minute. Uh, that would have killed things off, even if you had been tempted to get involved at the 1-2. So it's a messy, messy match. Glad it's on a Monday because then I can avoid it. So, so far, so good with the video. Today's Champions League. Take the research with a pinch of salt. These are, as you know, and as I keep telling you, Derby style matches in inverted commas, i.e. that can be very tough to read. And you can't immediately dismiss the opponent. They are, after all, in this competition because they're the best in their country. But let's have a quick look through. Uh, 1.42. So my immediate angles today in the Champions League, English League 1, English League 2 and the Championship will largely be driven by the pre-match odds. Too many matches to research League 1, League 2 and research there, I think, uh, isn't going to help. Uh, unreliable. The lower tiers start becoming unreliable and look better candidates for neutral goals. But uh, we've already got a lot of odds on favourites at home. Aston Villa look very reliable. Bologna letting a two-goal lead slip at the weekend against Genoa. With this match in mind, Aston Villa, you can see, setting it light away from home, just as Dick Emery planned. And at home, they should be brimming with confidence. Girona, Slovan Bratislava, interesting, 1.2 the favourite. Paris Saint-Germain against PSV, we might see both teams to score here. Real Madrid against Dortmund. That is the standout match. The marquee match. And Sporting Lisbon. Lots and lots of odds on favourites suggesting readability this evening in the Champions League. So looking forward to that. It's very rare that you get uh, all bar one odds on favourites. And let's face it. One, two, three, four, five, six of these are under 1.5 odds. So it's a very, very strong favourite-led market. And you can see why Monaco being in excellent form. Red Star Belgrade should be uh, like a fish out of water, out of their depth, and any other cliche I can come up with. Shakhtar Donetsk, Arsenal uh, too adept. As this is going to be 1-0, 2-0, or even higher. Uh, well, Bologna look gettable, don't they? 2-0 lead at the weekend, and you can rely on Villa's goals. Girona, not as strong as they were last season, probably because they've... Uh, all their key players have been nicked by the likes of Man City. Uh, Paris Saint-Germain, PSV, two sides with a reputation for goals. Ditto Real Madrid and Dortmund. And Sturm Graz, 
what are they going to be like outside of the Austrian Bundesliga? It's a, it's a league of only 10 or 12 teams. It's like the Scottish Premier League, likely to be found out on the European trail. The other main leagues today, well, we've got the AFC Champions League. Not going to be touching that one. Lacking a bit of liquidity. Thailand is represented by Buriram. So good luck to them today against Pohang from Korea. We move on down. English Championship. I've done some research for you, but my main cues today, again, will be an in-place stats. Sorry, an odds-on favourite. And this is telling, isn't it? 2.45, 2.38. 2.63, 2.6. Incredibly difficult coupon this evening for the English Championship. If the market makers can't pick a winner pre-match, you're going to have to rely on the in-play stats. English League One, not going to be researching it, but it is available to research. So I might change my mind and see if I can get some of these done for you uh, prior to 7.45, but it's not a priority for me. The way I deal with League One and League Two not necessarily via the research, and you can tell it's probably not a match to re a league to research. We've got the same problem that we've got in the championship: two point four five, two point three, two point four five, two point three, two point two five. Elsewhere, two point one five. Not strong favourites, and particularly when you get above two point four, the market's telling you uh, we can't split these sides or we can't come to a pre-match conclusion. Look at that. Only three odds on favourites is particularly telling. Make that four in English League One. English League Two. Again, my initial focus is on odds on favourites, which I will list. I'm not going to be doing a two and a half goals for you today. Champions League uh, negates that. And my two and a half goals in English League One, League Two and Championship will be tied in with the pre-match odds. So lots more odds on favourites in English League 2, making that one on paper a little bit more readable. But I won't be researching, but I will be reacting in play. Looks like a good uh, Tuesday evening. Plenty of kickoffs at the same time, which is exactly what you want as a trader. You want efficiency. 74% over two and a half goals, English Professional Development League, bringing them in yesterday as well. Premier League Cup. Flirted with goals as well. So with our newfound neutral view or neutral eye, these are the ones for you to look at. We're working our way down. French League 2, uh, not going to be prioritised. Bundesliga dry, not sure we can go that low liquidity-wise, but some familiar names. Hansa Rostock, Cottbus City Limits, Tina Turner's favourite team, and uh, AEU, I think they're newly relegated. So plenty to think about in the Bundesliga dry. It's probably a league for goals, that's for sure. You can find out at 6 o'clock uh, if it's liquid on Betfair. Maccabi Haifa, 1.85 away favourite. Just get a little nod there. Working our way down. Looks like the computer has stayed on after eight minutes. I don't move a muscle. Odds on favourites in the Easter Divisi. You saw that yesterday. Or oh, the last time Easter Divisi was on, plenty of goals. It is another two and a half goal league for you to follow. I'm just trying to be ever so careful that I don't nudge anything to knock the screen black. So uh, we were with the Easter Divisi. We'll work our way down. So now we've already got a short list of matches for this evening to work off be it underdog scoring first, or if it's a nil-nil at half-time in a match where you're expecting goals. Real Oviedo odds on today. Granada, <coughs> newly relegated. <coughs> a bit like Bonnie Tyler here. Excuse me. <coughs> Granada, newly relegated, but 2.3 the favourite. Could be one to stick on your notebook, or at least follow via the in-play stat. Super Etin now for me. My new focus on Sweden is as a league to generate goals. So that all of these in the My Games facility now, ready for this evening. My ideals, for example, 
that's my short list of under evens, and they tend to have a very good record for two and a half goals, or at least generating the goal at the right time to bring you a trade. This is my secondary route. This is the stronger candidates. So anything 1.35 and lower, I would think stick with Monaco here, just above the 1.35, but uh, being battered on 1x bet, as you can see, all well, the market makers extremely confident this evening. They have been in excellent form, Monaco. Very tough to beat. Probably top of the tree or thereabouts in the uh, French League. Uh, unbeaten run as well. The arse, of course, 1.17 could see goals before half time if they click this evening. But you never know, Champions League, we could get a 10 man defence from Shakhtar Donetsk. Others, 1.35 and lower, Girona. PSG. So that's four of them in the Champions League. And I'll collect those on flash score, even though it's not ideal, because they don't provide you the odds in their My Games facility, which you do need. But you get an idea who the teams are who are very strong favourites. 1.03 and 1.05. Now, the other day, I would have made £338 by half time with. Aruka. Let's have a look at Aruka. Now, I wonder if you can tell me how I made that money. And this was on Sunday in the excellent live stream, which was full of profit for those who were wise enough to attend. The shrewdies amongst you, not tucking into your Yorkshire puds. Aruka, Portuguese league. Now, You've just seen me mention a 1.03 and 1.05 shot in Croatia. Have a look at Aruka. 1.05 shot. Okay. No goal after 20 minutes. Back. First half goals, 2.5. At eight. Back over six and a half goals. At about seven to one. And sit back. Strap yourselves in. And wait for the dough. Now, this could have been a possible 180 quid, something like that. But I got out before half time, £36.40 in the over six and a half goal market. And first half goals, I cashed out after two goals because the drop from £106 to £40 loss that was too great. But the profit, £338. Over two and a half goals at 8.8 .8 for 40 quid. So take. One away from that, or just uh, that'll be seven to one. No, that'll be about eight to one. Four eights for 32. 320 quid had that, had I stayed in. So I hope that's got your attention when I'm talking about Ronnie Corbett size odds or Jimmy Cranky size odds 1.03, 1.05. What we're looking for is that delay 10 or 15 minutes without a goal. Get on over 2.5 first half goals and hope, as with the Ruka, these kind of short odds are indicative of an absolute goal blitz. That's your way to make a potential 330 quid by half time. Slin, odds on at home, 1.34 would get on the short list today. No ultra shorties. Well, Leeds, so immediately drawn to that match. Why make life difficult for yourself? If you just focused on these ultra shorties from a trading perspective, you would be making, uh, or you would have a very good high strike rate. Imagine the opportunities back these kind of shorties at evens or higher. That's what we're looking at. So this trading is not just about trading, it's about value betting, isn't it? Trying to find a great value by delaying and waiting in play, particularly for a Rick like an underdog scoring first, and then you can load up. So there's no very strong odds on favourites, as you can see there, just the one with Leeds United, 1.35 or lower. Now, the reason I pick 1.35 and lower, as you can see, Levadia, 1.04. So that brings with it certain expectations, five to nine goals, I would suggest there. The youth league might be uh, tradable. We've got a 1.09 shot here. So this, this offers you a different uh, perspective. And again, 1.02. So look at this tomorrow. The two Croatians, 
and Genk under-19s and see how that translated into goals and preferably goals before half-time. That's where you make your dough in the first half goals markets, of course. Now, the Easter Divisi, 1.33 Emin. That will immediately get my attention. We know now, marry the short odds with the league renowned for over two and a half goals and you've already got yourself a candidate. Why make life difficult? And if you think you can't create value from this, then you're not attending footballtradingprofits.com live streams. No one else? Shorties? Russian? I don't think we're allowed to uh, trade the Ruskies. So uh, none of that today. Spanish League 2, no strong odds on. So now we've got that list. Connor's key, I doubt it would be tradable. But it's a good exercise to collect 1.35 favourites and lower. This is why I'm talking about the disadvantage of flash score over Soccer 24 is the fact that we don't have the odds on listed here. Well, I don't know why. But you've got a fair idea. You know who the odds on favourites are. So 1.03, 1.05 in Croatia. And this is in time order. So now you've got yourself a list of very, very strong candidates for goals and goals before halftime. These you could perhaps look at waiting for 15 minutes, nil-nil, then backing over two and a half goals in the first half, goals market, cashing out if you get a goal before halftime. So that will be interesting. I'll have that saved. I've got my odds on in soccer24.com. You'll be alerted whenever there's a goal. Make sure this is on. So any odds on favourite match tonight, if I hear this, I know there's a goal scored and I can investigate. Similar story here. Get the sound on. Any odds on favourite goal for a 1.35 or lower, I will be alerted to. And I'll also be alerted because I can look at half-time for any nil-nils, potentially attack them second half in the over one and a half goal market. So plenty going on this evening. So far, 17 minutes in. And the computer hasn't turned off. Uh, so that's excellent. I'm not going to tempt fate. I'm going to get this video done and get it saved and uploaded for you. I'll see you for the earlier kickoffs. Probably, well, the Croatian Cup might be of interest at four o'clock, but certainly 5.45 for the Champions League early rounds. And I think Monaco look extremely strong, don't they, this evening? Uh, one of the better French league earth sides by a country mile. Have a great day. Apologies for the lateness of the video. But, uh, the laptop is performing. I'm going to get this saved and sent to you immediately.